Okay, today I just wanted to make a quick... I'm going to probably make a couple videos today if all goes well. But the first thing I wanted to make was like my console update, my collection update video. So here, two days ago I got this, Batman Returns on uh, Super Friday Com. I actually found this at the, the Swap Meet slash Flea Market, whatever you like to call it. Which is pretty surprising. I've actually found three games at the Swap Meet. Three Super Famicom games. I found this one. Derby Stallion. And Super Robot Wars 4. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Then I got this at a game store for five bucks. I knew exactly what this was when I saw it. Princess Tomato and the Salad Kingdom. I got this for NES. And then, um, then I got this. I got Bubsy and Claws Encounters of the Furry Kind for Genesis. I usually wouldn't buy a game like this, but since some reason I like to play the Bubsy game on the Super Nintendo, and I have that one complete in the box. I thought might as well get the Genesis version complete in box too, and it was only three dollars. It's actually kind of funny what. It says in the back, like, where is it? Oh, 16 megs of over 40 awesome animations, 5 wild words, 5 wild worlds, countless furballs, 16 big levels, an average of 300 screens per level, per, you see that? <laughs> and then, humongous or what? And then, 7 music tracks, just like going to the show to see a Furminator movie. <laughs> Interactive cartoons spend Sundays playing cartoons, not watching them. I plop, blowing, splat, I need medical attention. Now, just so you know, the sound effects on this game and the music are horrible compared to the Super Nintendo version, but otherwise, the graphics are probably basically about the same. I'm prettier than Mel and Debbie Gibson combined. Digitized voice. Next, I'm going to get my own 1-900 number. Hmm. Well, basically, the sound and music, for the most part, are horrible in this version compared to the Super Nintendo version. But surprisingly, the voices are about the same. Okay, next I got this two days ago, too, at the same day I got the Batman game. I got this for $5. You probably just thought it was an old CD player. I got a real Panasonic 3DO. This is actually the second 3DO I found at the swap meet. The first one I got was the FZ1 model. And that only cost me $2, believe it or not. And it works perfect. This I only got the system, though, but luckily, before, a couple months ago, I found the actual controller that goes with this model, the slimmer version of the... Regular, it looks like the 3DO FZ1 controller, but it's slightly smaller and slimmer. And I got that for $2, so basically you could say it cost me $7 for this. And since it uses just the standard power connector and audio video cables, I got all that already. And then this right here, what I'm going to show you in a, right now, is probably the most interesting. I got this at the Goodwill for 30 bucks, Just because... This probably is actually the hardest model of the Intellivision to find. I got the Intellivision Super Pro System, which is also known as the Intellivision, it should say on the back. Television System 3, and this is kind of interesting right here. This is not a toy and is intended for use or buy under the supervision of adults. Hmm. That's strange. And then, <clears throat> it's kind of like the Model 1, but in the front there's no wood grain. It's all black instead of that brown color. And also, it has a power LED in the middle between the reset and the power switch, which is pretty nice. And the controllers are black. Overall, I think this looks better than the television Model 1. Especially nice that it has this little LED. Okay.
Well, that's about it for this video.